We're back on Access Carolina. Parenting style makes a major impact on the social, emotional, and behavioral development of children. And experts say there are four parenting types. Which one are you? We caught up with Dr. Suzanne Barchers at Lingo Kids to talk about it. Well, you say understanding each parenting category helps you learn what works for your child. So let's start with authoritative. That's nurturing but firm. Uh, what can we learn about that category? In that category, you have clear expectations that you've communicated with the child. You're more likely to have logical consequences. You have discipline and you have high expectations, but you're not a punishing kind of parent. But you do value right and wrong. Okay. And then... The next one is a parent who might be very loving, but they provide few guidelines, very few rules. What should we understand about the permissive parenting style? Right, they're warm, nurturing, they're more the guide on the side, and they're going to let children make mistakes. There aren't going to be as many rules, and there won't be the severe consequences if something fails. Um, you may just say, okay, what can we learn from that, and move on. Yep, and then... Next, not authoritative, but authoritarian. This kind of parent focuses on obedience and discipline and control. What should we understand there? Anything we can learn from? Right. There's no gray areas with that parent. It's black and white. They know exactly what they want their child to do and behave, how to behave. And sometimes that can be a problem. But if the child learns to adjust to that, it also can be very clear and the child knows exactly what to do in all circumstances. And then you've got the category of uninvolved parent. I'm sure there's not much to learn from, from an uninvolved parent, but a lot of parents uh, in this situation, I guess the kids are fending for themselves here. That's right, and that's often the case where a parent uh, is maybe just so busy, maybe it's a single parent who's working two jobs just to get by. Those kids can really form some resilience because of that. It's not always a bad thing. Uh, you wanna be in par uh, involved with your kids as much as possible, but reality is that with some families, the parent or parents are just swamped. Yeah. And maybe people watching this can see themselves classified into one of these categories, or, or maybe they sometimes cross over. What do you want people to understand overall about the parenting types and how they end up impacting a child's development? I think one thing is that once you see your primary type, you can reflect on that and say, is that working best with my child? Is my child resonating with it? Do I need to change? And do I need to change as my child gets older? Authoritative may work well when the child is young, but may not later when the child is a teenager. All right, so you're making those adjustments and doing what's best for your family. Dr. Barchers, thank you so much, we appreciate it. You're and Lingo Kids is a learning app for kids ages two to eight years old. A lot of resources and articles there as well about parenting and about education. Be able to find the info and the link for Lingo Kids on accesscarolina.com.